You've just finished a live stream and realized there's some bits you'd really like to cut out. But when you go to the editor, all you get is this. The only option you get is trim and cut. And even when you do make an edit, the only option you get is to save it as a new video. What if you want to save that as the original video with the edits in place? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. The YouTube editor has some great features in here, but I get questions all the time from folks saying, why do I only have trim and cut? Why can't I save this as the original file? Well, here's the problem. It takes a little while to process. Yes, the simple answer here is you have to wait. And the way you'll know that this has been fully processed is you'll have other options here apart from trim and cut. And when you do make those trims and those cuts, instead of just having the save as new option up in the top here, you'll be able to save that as the original video, which is probably what you want. Because if you did it as a live stream and this is the play on demand, the VOD file, you'll want to make sure that that's the same link as the original video. So how long does it take before it's processed and you can start doing some real editing. Well, it depends on a bunch of factors like the quality of your stream. Is it 1080p or 4K and also the length of your stream? So on average, you're looking around about an hour for a one hour stream. So it's about a one to one processing ratio. So really the only thing you can do is kick back and wait for the processing to be done. Now to determine whether it has been done, when you come in here to the editor, instead of it looking like this, we've only got trim and cut, you'll have a bunch of other features here. And in just a moment through the power of editing, we'll jump into the future and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. In the meantime, if you've done something horribly wrong, maybe you've revealed your own address in a live stream and you want to make sure no one can watch it before you edit it, well, guess what? All you need to do is change this visibility to unlisted. This means that anyone that has the link will still be able to watch the video, but other folks won't be able to find it. It won't be listed in YouTube. If you want to make sure that no one can watch it, regardless of whether they have the link or not, make it private. You can make it public again once you've done your edit, but if you change this to private and then hit the done button and save it, it means that that original live stream, as well as the video on demand, will be unaccessible until you make it public again. So I'm going to go make a coffee while this processes, but when I return, I'm going to show you all of the cool editing features we have here in the YouTube editor. Now that's looking better. And you can see now that the video is processed, we have not only trim and cut, we now have blur, audio, end screen, info cards, and ad breaks. I'll be touching on these as we go through, but our main focus will be on actually editing to remove parts of this video. Before we dive into the editing, to get to the editor, go to studio.youtube.com and click on the content tab on the left. Now at the top, go to live, find the video you want to edit and click on the details button. And then from the left menu, click on editor. To start, we tap on this one, the trim and cut and hit plus. Now there are two ways to add cuts. You can either cut the front and the end. That's the easiest and probably the most common thing to do. So let's say you start a live stream, but the first 10 seconds is just dead air because you didn't talk at the right time. Well, yeah, you can just grab this front handle and drag it. And you can see there that the video will update and the time there will tell you how far into the video you are. If you want to listen to the video, you can hit the play button here. <laughs> no, the garage band news. So if I wanted to cut out all that banter at the start there, I could do that. Now, a really key tool to use here is your zoom because you would have noticed there that if this is an hour long stream or longer, it is going to be a bit challenging to be able to move this. So if we grab this slider here, we can zoom in. So make sure your playhead is right there at the start and then zoom in and you'll now see that we get these frame by frame parts here. So say I wanted to cut down here to where I go to the full screen. I can do that by moving that across there and then hit the play to check it out or I can drag it back and uh, we'll hit the play button. Be limited, but uh, we have a lot of other stuff to do. So we can actually do it that way. If we zoom back out, we can do the same thing at the end. So just grab your playhead and drag it as far to the end as you can. And you can either just hit the zoom in button there or you can drag it and you can see here, I should do this because look at that, you can see that I stopped talking there, but I have this dead air at the end here. So I can actually just drag this to here. And then when we play back the end, see you later folks. Be cool. We can get a nice clean cut at the end, or maybe I just want a little bit there just to grab that fade out at the end. 
Now, here's the cool thing. Once you've actually done with that, you'll notice we have a save button here. Now, if you want to make this a new video, you can hit the three dots here and do save as a new video. If you want to do an edited version and maybe remove or pull down the original version, you can do that. But the beauty part is we can save this as the original video. So if someone's got the link to the live stream or to the VOD, the video on demand, any changes you make here will actually update and be saved into that original video. Now that's all well and good if you just want to edit the start or the finish, but quite often there'll be something that happens in the middle of your stream that you want to remove. So no problem, we can fix that as well. All we need to do is come and click on this one, the new cut button, and there you go. You can see it's created a new cut. We can either enter in timestamps exactly here if we want to, or easier is to just drag this around. And once again, Yes, your zoom is your friend because if we grab the zoom, you can see here that we can zoom right in and this is going to give you a lot better access to exactly the part you want to remove. So you line it up to the start and to the end of whatever chunk that you want to remove and then click on the tick button and there you go. That cut is now in place. Let's zoom back out again and uh, if we want another one, no problem at all. We'll put our playhead to another position here and we'll click on new cut and there you go. We've got cut number two. We do the same thing. We drag this. We zoom in if we need to get some more precise location. And then once we're happy with the cut that we've made, we just hit the tick button again. You can hit the preview button up here if you want to watch your new video with all the new cuts. But being a live stream, you'll probably just want to scroll through and find the different sections because if we come down to here and click just before this cut and hit the play button here, we can see what actually will happen now. I, I like which is, uh, so there you go. You can see it jump between there and there. Now that was just an arbitrary point, but if there was something in there, if you flubbed a line, if you showed your home address or whatever, you can remove that out. And then when you hit save, it will completely change that original video. Now, at this point, I wanted to let you know, while you can cut out anything you like, you can't add in. It's probably obvious as to why you can't, but just in case you need some information, yeah, you can quickly see how easy it would be to completely change the intent of a video or the content of a video by adding in new bits of video. So YouTube don't allow you to do that because if someone had watched that video, they'd liked it, they'd commented on it, and then you suddenly put in a, a comment that's controversial or that's inappropriate, then that person has commented on something that they didn't originally watch or agree to comment on. So you can't add anything in, but you can remove anything you like. And once you're happy with all of your cuts, all you need to do is hit the save button. It will go off and process again. Yes, there's another delay which will usually take a few hours to process that one and then when it's ready any new viewers will get the new version of the video don't worry other people will get the older version while it's still processing or you can use the tip i told you about before make it unlisted or private until it's processed and then make it public again now as mentioned before there are a heap of other options here that you can use we're not going to cover these in detail in this video if you'd like a more detailed video hey drop a comment let me know but i just wanted to let you know what these do. So you've got blur. There's two types of blur. You can do a custom blur. So you've got a phone number on the screen and you want to blur out just that section. You can do that or you can face blur. If you've taken a video and someone doesn't want to be in your video, you can blur their face. We also have the audio option here. This is pretty cool. You can add background audio using music from the YouTube audio library. You can preview it by tapping on here. And all of this is completely copyright free, so you can use it in your videos. You can even replace copyrighted audio with audio from the YouTube audio library if, for instance, you've got a copyright claim. We've got access to end screen. You can also do this from your YouTube studio, but you can do it here in the editor. That's those screens that pop up and they'll have a video or a playlist or a subscription link at the end of the video. You can customize those as well as info cards. They're those little cards that pop up at the top of the screen when you're watching a video that point to another video. So that's pretty handy that if you're going through your stream here and you mention another video, you can instantly add an info card to that one here. And if you're part of the YouTube partner program and your channel is monetized, you'll also have ad breaks. So YouTube's already determined where it thinks these ad breaks should be. But if I want to edit those, I can hit the edit button and change those up here. A few more handy options we have in here. If you click on the three dots here in the top right, you can save as new as we said before, but you can also revert to the original. You can even learn 
learn about the keyboard shortcuts if you want to become a YouTube Studio Editor Pro. And down here in the bottom left, we've got the handy undo and redo. So if you do something completely wrong and you want to go back, yes, you can undo any of the changes that you've made and go back to the original version of your video. There you have it, quick and easy YouTube video editing right here from within YouTube. This works for your standard YouTube videos as well as your live streams. So even if you've edited something, if you have made a mistake, you can come in here and correct it. And don't forget, you may want to make it unlisted or private because people will still see the old version because it does take a few hours to process these. So do keep that in mind. But if like me, you've come in here before and you've only seen the save as new and you've kind of freaked out because you don't think you can edit it, the key is to just wait. Give it a few hours. Sometimes it can even take like half a day, but give it some time and then come in here and edit to your heart's content. Hope you found this one useful. Let me know your thoughts, any questions you have in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.